yes, here's a quick explanation of what a freelancer is. So basically I just had a meeting with a client and they have full-time employees, but they're looking to hire a freelance writer for some work here and there. So I would come on as a project by project basis where I complete assignments for them. Um, and then we discuss the pricing and things like that. And as a freelancer, I set my own hours. I set my own deadlines. I say yes or no to clients. I uh, set my own pricing. If a client wants me to do something um, on a quick turnaround, I will charge a rush fee. Um, I don't work on weekends. I clock out after like five or 6 p.m. Um, and I only take meetings on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And today is Thursday, so it's a meeting day. And so that's kind of how I structure my life as a freelancer. I don't want to brush under the rug the fact that you do have to learn the business side of freelancing. And that's something that you don't have to learn as an employee. But in reality, it's so worth it <laughs> once you figure that out. Because on the business side, you do have to figure out your own health insurance and different benefits that you can set up for yourself. But as a freelancer, you are making more money because you do have to figure that stuff out. And you can also leverage your time and clients are going to pay more for you because you're on demand talent. And so they're willing to pay more for you because they don't have to pay a lot of the taxes and whatnot associated with employment fees. And because you're flexible on demand talent, they're, they're just going to pay more for you. I have a lot of other videos about how to increase your rate as a freelancer, how to do package fees, all of this stuff. Um, and so you do have to figure out the business side of things and you do, I highly recommend getting a good CPA, getting a good lawyer. Um, but there's also a lot of tax benefits and tax write-offs. And so I know a lot of people are like, oh no, but you pay so much in taxes. Um, but in reality, there's a lot that you can write off. You can write off a home office space. You can write off part of the rent and utilities or mortgage associated with that home office space. You can write off health insurance. Like there's a lot of things that can reduce your tax bill as a freelancer that you couldn't write off as an employee. But like I said, not financial advice, talk to a CPA. I am just talking about what has worked for me and what I've learned as a freelancer, but you should ask professionals to help you get your business set up. Um, and that helps a lot. I have a freelancing 101 guy that is in my profile and on my website. So feel free to check that out. I also have a ton of videos on how to get started as a freelancer and you don't have to be a freelance writer. You could be a freelance graphic designer. You could be a freelance project manager. You could be a freelance virtual assistant. Uh, there's so many things that you can do. I've had friends who found a ton of success in freelance product photography. There's so many different things that you can do from anywhere remotely as a freelancer. Um, but basically as a freelancer, you're a 1099 uh, worker and you handle all of your own um, businesses. You should business and you should also form an LLC or an entity. But like I said, talk to a, a lawyer, talk to a CPA. They can help you get everything set up. But yeah, let me know if you have any other questions.